What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So, to round off what happened last time, in the hour special we actually managed to cleanse most of Spain of enemy forces. So much so we can afford to have a small garrison of pretty good troops. We actually also have started to gain our own garrison and also have a small, fairly basic force out to clear our lands of Spanish swines. I'm probably not going to repair these areas until I get these guys up north. But I have to say, I'm pretty damn excited now because I was pretty much sure things would go. Yeah, see, it's a good job we didn't repair. Um, at the start of the last turn, I was prepared for the city battle to go really badly wrong. And I also came up with an additional backup plan um, in the event that it went wrong. But it didn't. It didn't go wrong. It worked really well. And things went our way enough, and the AI cooperated and things went right, that we've actually managed to make Spain fairly stable. And we've also got peace with the Barbary states. So them raiding and blockading my capital is no longer a thing. But you know what it does mean? They can dedicate more ships to blockading the ports of my enemies. So let's start. Almost start the game from scratch again. So villages are not growing because of waste. enemy armies are laying waste to our territories. I want these guys to sit on one more turn of replenishment. I want to be fully, fully kitted out before I attack them. This is a growing trade port, providing some good economy. Spain is pretty much our tax base now. Yeah, our ports are getting raided. But for now, this is pretty damn good. So I want to take Gibraltar, secure these ports. And probably I want to keep... Gibraltar is a dockyard because it's tier 2 and it opens us up to 4th rate ships on the line. Probably just demolish Cadiz. But I want to take Gibraltar and then, when the time is right, jump and hit Portugal. Because then, with the Iberian Peninsula under us, under our control, we will grow very quickly. There's not much point building the new artillery building yet because we don't really... We can't research um, any more down the track than we already really want to. But what we do want to do keep growing our economy. Because Spain is growing an army. But thankfully it's actually pretty low quality. Lots of guerrillas and provincial um, units. The thing to watch out for will be if we push south to take Gibraltar, will the, po um, the Portuguese use that as their opportunity to come in? Maybe. Actually, I might move up to here. Because then we can intercept them if they try and move. We can actually repair... Well, we can't repair the craft workshop in Andorra. But now we can. Because this makes more money than repairing this farm. But yeah. In general, I'm pretty pleased with how we've got on. But now, we do need to exploit it. We have a period of peace relative peace I think it would be good I think that big chunk of the map just changed colour um, but it would be good if we could make some headway with it now we've got Spain Spain is ours but now I want Gibraltar and I want Portugal too bad you're there So let's get him aboard ship, just so I can drop him off of the coast and move him to Gibraltar. It'll take him a while, he'll pick up some recon. He's got roads from Spain, good, let's repair this building. It's weird I can't recruit ships to go in there. But I suppose I'll recruit one from Malta, because it's a light galley. Just getting Division of Labour would be very handy. But it's quite far down the list and we need more military tech, ideally, to establish our position. 
And let's go knock out the last of the rogue Spaniards on our territory. Then this army will head back to Malta, where it will reorganize. And then it will drive south, after a bit of expansion, towards Gibraltar. And hopefully, actually, I would like to see if we could try and take Gibraltar and then get peace. That would be useful. If not, I will then take Sardinia. And I can use that as a support architecture for Malta. Let's keep our infantry our cavalry wide. Actually, I might put both my cavalry over here. Send them forward, because we are against native factions. These poor souls, if they get hit by with a, uh, a round shot, then things are very badly wrong for them. So just one second, guys. I need to quickly check something. Just one minute. Pause the game. Be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. There was a funny noise. <laughs> I wanted to figure out what it was before something set on fire. Yeah, just keep pounding him. Nothing clever in this fight. I just want to look for... Look for their native units. There's one. So let's go have a look at this charge. Is that one back here? is. Oh no, it's just a militia unit, so I'll send my... Actually no, keep them here in case these guys are out. Need to be careful about these spikes. Poor devils. Volley, they'll be gone. Artillery to hit the colonial militia at the rear. Come on, there he goes. Let's bring my cavalry back in. Okay, let's speed up time now because things have gone spectacularly well. No, oh, hold on. Oh, that's. Okay, I thought that was a new unit popped up on the map. There's the natives. There's some of them anyway. Found them with our artillery. Let's kill the general with our cavalry. While we attempt to make a good diced meal with the 6th Regiment of Foot. dead as will his acolytes be one man good Let's bring my cavalry back so I'm gonna lose some men to bow shots to bow fire Full of our cavalrymen. So let's get all of our artillery to focus on the other unit. And let's just. Okay, now let's halt artillery fire. Because things are now about to go spectacularly badly wrong. Okay, you're going after them, you're going after them. 
right want to continue. I don't want to kill them all. This is like deadly Pokemon. Sort of micro one of these cavalry units and let the other one. Yeah, these guys are going to rout because they've split into two big groups. You've got them. I'll tell you what, my is going to have a damn good go. Killing the ones nearest the border, not the border, but the, the edge of the map. Hey, they did it. Yeah. <laughs> not a single Spaniard left to tell the tale of what happened to those men. Let's repair the boarding house. Let's bring this army back to Madrid. Then you will gather your strength. March south. Take the fortress city of Gibraltar. Well, not fortress city, but whatever. To get rid of all enemy presence on this territory, then we can make a very favourable sprint to Lisbon and hopefully avoid this army completely. So that's roads have been... new roads have been built. Probably be good to actually sprint down military syllabus to get a fire by rank. But actually... Not getting left behind on research speeds and things like that would also be useful. Cool. Let's hit enter. Ah, the British are coming. You will get plucked soon, matey. If anything, is now the time where I start to switch my militia out to... Well, switch my militia out with troops that I've currently got garrisoning Malta. Not Malta. Um, Madrid. That could be a good option. The Italian states are growing a nice, strong navy to help protect me. Because it is in their interests to uh, keep the trade lanes open with me, their ally. Not their ally. Their trade partner. But then again, we're, we're at peace with the Barbary states. So yeah, there's a raid in Granada. This is where you guys are going to probably get to the bridge. Let's probably swap two militia for an infantry and a marine unit. And then continue the path. Let's upgrade. It's weird I can't recruit anything there, but I've got my spare galley. But I'm not going to send him over yet because he'll just get kicked out. Okay, let's go for the iron workshop. Another friendly gentleman. See. Oh, he was new this turn. Okay, I wasn't being weird. So you're on 1600, partly because this guy got raided. Don't want to fix Cadiz, so actually I'm going to knock it down anyway. Yeah, some cavalry and a bunch Signore. of poor quality infantry coming after you. Oh, my rake is on the march. Yeah, <laughs> you think you're going to get an easy capture? I think not. That's not how this works, sunny boy. Just goes to show how determined they are to capture my capital, even though there there is no way they're going to capture it. There just isn't. <laughs> so I'm going to march my army back to the capital, and then we can envelop the British from 
Well, completely envelop them. They'll be attacked from the front and from the rear. So I suspect if I attack them with the army currently going south, they will charge at us, because if they don't, then we'll get our other... our garrison forces will get into position. It would be very nice to have fire by rank, just to make sure we clear out the Spanish in Gibraltar. Yeah, just keep marching. I probably want to bring my priest back to somewhere like here. Just to keep a better eye on what the French are actually doing. Just over the border. Let's fix this guy. Siamo pronti. Do I upgrade the boarding house? Increases the the um, research time for the research for enlightenment. But do, are there any more towns growing here? Another port, Bilbao. But I think in terms of towns, that's it for Spain. So I'm wondering, can I? Well, I don't. Well, there's no point getting another school if we're going to take Lisbon. So that's off the table. We don't really need this, but I suppose it will be useful when we eventually expand. I suppose you, yeah, no, we haven't got too much cash now, so I might keep it. Okay, now you've got empiricism. suppose now we actually better start to get some so what have we got weaver's cottage iron workshop iron workshop so basic steam pump we'll make upgrades cheaper and we'll earn a bit more money from this mine oh what do we just get spinning jenny or measuring tools to get new roads no i think i'm still tempted for that money i think i'm still tempted to keep going down this route Don't need to worry about upgrading these yet. Let's take this chat back and go hit the army of John Churchill. Let's take him out. Then we're going to be well on our way to... Well, we definitely are well on our way to securing the peninsula. But like I said, if I can milk a few more turns out of it, building up our, building up our economy a bit, building up our army making it small but wait a minute what a funky deployment zone this is let's put my guns up on this piece of raised ground here let's split my army up to cover each of the approaches Here are our reinforcements. Oh, miles away. There they are. I'm just going to send my cavalry to go engage their yeomen. Because we do beat them quite convincingly in one on one combat. Might not even need to form square. So we're slightly, we were at a slight disadvantage. I 
infantry all our fire onto this last regiment of line infantry. Yeah, we should win this fight one on one. Let's get my cavalry up to threaten their general. Let's keep this cavalry close in order to form a bit of a counter charge. And these are close. It's a close fight, but I feel pretty good. This militia might have something to say about my cavalry. Yes, it does. But these boys have something to say to you. Mr. John Churchill, he's a good general. So it's nice to be able to kill him. Ah, my general, my captain over here died. something like that. There we go, we are. Winning against the General's bodyguard. They're going to fire into the General's combat. My new infantry is going to fire into Damn right, you're losing slightly. Come on, line it for drink. Oh, oh, holy fire into the flank. Not, this militia unit isn't more upset being fired out in the flank by two line infantry units. Okay, this cavalry intercept John Churchill. These guys fire it well off because these guys are active and these guys are tired, so I should be able to chase them down. I don't remember you. You hold fire, charge them down. So where is their actual... So it's not him, it must be this guy. Yeah, there he is. Run him down. Absolutely continue to hold fire. They should die quite a lot when they try to route through this line of infantry. There we go, we got him. A 
Oh yeah, we chased him down. He got bogged down. The beast gave up and he had him like a rat in a pit. That's what the guy says in Waterloo. Okay, chase them down. Should get some pot shots from my militia helping to take him out. When my cavalry gets close, I'll turn fire well off. Good stuff. Mighty second regiment of foot. Cut down. Go help take out the militia. These guys have. These guys are going to do what they need to do. Good, they're all dead. Everyone, kill this last unit of militia. Close. That wasn't close. That was an annihilation. The Brits should be completely gone by now. Eh, 41 men remaining, allegedly, but they should. Oh, they had to route towards my university, didn't they? Send two militia just to make sure that they yeah, didn't screw me over. Good. So let us replenish my forces. With an eye on moving south, which is why building up my military capability would be good, I think. And investing in my economy as well. <laughs> See, it would be nice to be able to interrupt the flow of ships, or to control the flow of ships through through the straits. That would be lovely. Ooh, pardon me. Oh yeah, that snuck up on me. Okie dokie. Then I would like to take Morocco, cleanse them with holy fire and make them one of us. Then we'll have a very solid position in Western Europe. And then I can hopefully base a strong fleet in Malta and then it will forever be protected by the Royal Fleet. So I can upgrade the university and the happiness will cope with it. Granted I've got a big garrison but they've still got a few more turns of foreign occupation to chip away. Good, so you are... Let's march you back. Obviously, but yeah, Portugal could go for us Rio while we Altro, okay, just gather everyone together in one place. Getting some very experienced line infantry units now. It's a lot of troops, but with a solid formation, that's, you've got a pretty good shot, I think. I, mean, I don't know why... Okay, I don't know why you're going backwards. Your pathfinding has gone a bit funny. Yeah, I think we need to burn a few turns to get my tech in the place it needs to be. I might not even necessarily need fire by rank, but uh, it would make me feel a lot better. I mean, it always makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> um, yeah, when you're fighting lots of junk units, it's nice to have fire by rank so you can just maximise the amount of firepower you put out rather than worrying about trading too much damage because you'll be roughly doing the same amount of damage to each other. Roughly. It, it will be different at various points and slightly different unit on unit. But in general, for me, it always feels like I'm doing the same amount of damage to them as they are to me. And it's not an engagement I want to prolong. That's probably based more in psychology rather than the stats of the game. But, uh, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got to check um, the islands in the med. What could we build on them? Because doesn't something develop here? Yeah, Balma de Mallorca. 
building constructed iron workshops in Spain. So let's gather our forces. Let's recruit a real bona fide general, Cesare Fierro. Oh, we get lovely, lovely marines. Okay. So I don't want. To, I do want to be careful about not spending beyond my means. And it's tempting to just build a local fishery because they don't seem to be bothering with us yet. Okay. Two more turns till we get military syllabus. Obviously it increases recruitment cost but it's more about getting that sweet, sweet fire by rank. And we are also we are upgrading our school so we can just afford to burn a few turns. But let's take our spy... I would like to take the North African coast at some point, but because we've got peace, I'm happy to let them let sleeping dogs lie. In order to not antagonise things much more than they need to be. Mainly because if I declare on the Barbary States now, I'll have to declare on the Ottomans at the same time. So it's very much a big a big declaration of war I'd be making. Which is why I'm more about trying to knock out the Spanish islands and build a navy to base in Malta itself. That's more my jazz. Maybe, once I've taken Lisbon, send some forces west. Let's start to form some, Mal uh, some uh, overseas orders. Okay, so now I can move a light galley over to Cartagena. I think I might just upgrade the boarding house just to keep up with the happiness problems that might arise from the school. Because you get a big bonus from having a garrison there, but I would like I would like to be able to move these troops out. We're earning 1700, this, uh, 1700, 1700 a turn, which isn't massive. It's enough to convert a lot of militia to line infantry and then go down and attack Gibraltar. But then when I take Gibraltar, I need to start dribbling cash in to take... Um, to build up a fleet. Because I really... I've then got a demand on two fleets. One based in Gibraltar to control the strait, one based in Malta to protect my capital. And those fleets will be expensive, so it probably will be a balance of sending ships over to the New World. So there could be an argument for building like a lower tier fleet of a, of a handful of fifth rates to escort my colonial army overseas. Can't build a drill school. I'm only three dollars off. Okay, in that case then, because it'd take So it'd take another turn to get the cash, three turns to build it, ten turns to research it, or at best maybe about eight, so I'm probably gonna instead set these guys to uh, start researching some economic techs. And then Start to build up my army because I do want to leave some militia behind to protect them. But actually, probably based on their composition, I probably want more cannons than just infantry because cannons are great at breaking low quality troops. Yeah, Royal Navy, she owns the Atlantic, which is why having Lisbon is so useful because you can generate ship there and they can sprint out to the west coast to the trade portals I suppose really really easily and quickly as well yep if we take Lisbon then we'll really be cooking we'll have two schools we'll be developing lots of tech Lisbon's worth a lot of money as well yeah 
basically we'll be doing really well and i would be tempted to go take morocco as well because morocco is also worth cash <gasps> okay okay so that's a potential yeah are they gonna go take malta it looks like they are i mean i'm not gonna fight it oh please say they're gonna bug out the same way the brits do I mean, obviously that's not good <laughs> um, because it somewhat derails our plans but I don't think it's too much of a problem it means we'll lose out on that easy trade income but it does mean well it means our plans will progress slower if they take Malta they'll solve my problem <laughs> because Madrid will become my capital but I don't want to lose Malta not really so what are we down to? Not very much money at all. Okay. So I think I need to build these cannons and then go straight to the south. I'll leave myself exposed because of Portugal. But if Portugal goes for Madrid, I'll go for Lisbon. <laughs> so you've got the college. Okay, so in one turn we'll get two guns. I may even... No, I'll need the cash temporarily. But let's see if the Ottomans do what the British do. Because we saw their stack would zigzag around near Malta and not actually invade it. I mean, if they did invade it, like I said, that would solve a lot of problems. Because then I'd be trading out of Spain. Yeah, it looks like they want to take the city. But they aren't going to, which is odd, but meh. It just means that our, our plans to take... Well, if anything, it might speed up the plan to take Gibraltar and then go and take Lisbon to help build that tax base. Help build the tax base to build the fleet to defend my capital. So 1,200. We're on in, neg in negative figures now because we've got the guns. Cesar, Cesar Fierro is going to march onto their capital. Or try to. Annoyingly, these guys may now try to run around. It's a real bummer. Oh well. Can only do what you can do. Let's try and... Do you have any generals? No. Che cosa desiderate? Just infiltrate the army, may as well. Maybe even build a militia unit just to act as a garrison to provoke something. It's not great because it means we're going to suffer from tax. Um, just try random peace. Yeah, fair enough. I don't suppose we can count on anyone bailing us out this time. Good. They didn't run around. Or would it be advantageous to not attack the capital, but attack the army outside it to try and trigger... No. It's easier just to, just to fight the city than it's done in one battle. Like it's finished. It, it's oh. the Ottomans throw a bit of a spanner in the works. I'd be lying if I said they didn't. Especially as it means I can't generate any trade. Hmm. It's taxing, and it looks like they're deciding. The Ottomans are going to decide to screw up. Um, my end turns now. Hooray! <laughs> Um, but that's not so bad. But yeah, it, it complicates matters and it probably doesn't mean I'll end up cutting the parts. I'm not going to cut the part now because I don't want to end the video portion. Um, I want to at least tee up the battle for the next part. 
them, we shall see. Yeah, I think a good plan is to try and... If I can take Gibraltar, I can build mostly 5th rates, build some 4th rates. But I will need... Oh, I'll need to sprint and take out Gibraltar, then go straight for Lisbon. As, as quickly as I can, as far as money allows, because Gibraltar isn't worth anything. But then with Lisbon under my control, I should get about plus 600, 800-ish from Lisbon. Then I'll be back in it with a fighting chance just to slowly build up my navy. But I've also got to make sure they don't rebel too badly. And it really looks like the Ottomans are being really, really annoying. And I don't think I've seen anything move for quite a while. I mean, hopefully they haven't killed it. Not that it's, not that it's a... Oh, it just moved then. Okay. It's not so bad if the Ottomans kill something in the end turn phase because the game does autosave when you click end turn. So if I, the game crashed now and I had to load it back up, um, I could load it up to my most recent autosave. But weirdly, it would be tempting to try and trade trade Malta with them for peace. Because Malta's worth about 600 a turn. And it's a limiting factor on my trade. Because if I let them have it, and I then trade with Malta, Spain, and Madrid became my capital, it'd be a lot easier. Maybe I should have attacked with my fleet outside. Hmm, who knows? I think I'm going to have to cut the recording here and I'm sorry guys, I'm going to have to put some stupid picture over all of this not that anything's happening, but yeah, I'm going to cut it here put probably a still from a video just over the black space and then yeah, see you guys at the start next turn and we're back I actually went out to sort some food it's got a basic steam pump our money is slowly ticking away Signore. So now we have to move on to the city. And it will be dangerous because they've got mortars, lots of cavalry. Um, well, then again, or do I just hunker down and just let them. I know I need to do it quickly, but that doesn't mean I should. I need to do it quickly, but that doesn't mean I'm, I should uh, go too rush, really. Growth going well, growing really well. Obviously, this is the main problem. I can't stop this, and they don't want to attack me. Or do I just? The problem is, is if I push out, do they just take Malta, then they just keep going. And then do they start actually trying to attack me in Madrid? As annoying as this is, does this stop them from actually attacking my? safe haven for the want of a better word i suppose the answer is maybe maybe hmm. but i'm gonna hit end turn one more time i'm gonna cut the recording here then bring you guys back when it's finished unless the ottomans have decided not to break it this time so see you in a second oh they were pretty quick this time it seems like whatever state they're in they've decided to make it their uh, safe state they're not going to... Well, it went, it went past in about three seconds compared to the last one. There was so long I had time to go downstairs, make some food, preheat the oven, you know, make, some, make a drink, come back up, and then it had finished. Okay. So we should, yeah. So through the, cap, through the growth of our tax income, we should, we should offset this income deficiency. Because you are growing quite quickly. Probably be good if I picked you to do... Ooh, division of labour. Minus one happiness is obviously not great. But the growth in 
town wealth is good. Actually, social contracts are a good one to get because it's cheap, doesn't impact happiness, and it also contributes to the growth of the tax rate. All the while we are attriting them. Because I think I would rather be on the defensive. Rather than, that, rather than going on the offensive. Because I can deploy back away from their mortars and be fairly safe. Fairly safe that I'm not going to get screwed over. Because if I lose that army, I'm pretty much done. And here they come. But, looking at the episode timer, it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And is this name Martial the Cow? <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for hopefully a fairly decisive battle against the Spanish. Cheers everyone.